Hey, today we're going to go over Homebrew. It's a free and open source package manager for Mac OS. It's basically just a better way of installing applications and keeping them up to date in a centralized location on your Mac. Uh, it's not that complicated, so let's take a look at how to install it. All you need to do is go to their website, copy this, open a terminal, paste it in, hit enter, and you have Homebrew installed. Nice. All right, now let's take a look at some basic commands. Just type brew in your terminal. You'll see some basic example commands. Uh, we'll be going over these top few here. All right, first, brew list is gonna show you all of your terminal-based applications that you've installed through Homebrew. Okay, now let's use brew search to find a new application that I wanna install. I wanna install PostgreSQL, which is an open source, awesome database. Cool, I think I wanna get this first one here, but let's get some info on it. So if you run brew info and the application, you'll get more information about it. And this is the one I wanna install. So let's install it with brew install and then whatever the package name is. So Postgres is now being downloaded, installed and placed wherever it needs to go on my Mac. Now, if you run info again on PostgreSQL, you'll see that it is installed and it's installed at this location on my computer. You can run brew list again, just to verify that it's in your application list. There it is. So that's how easy it is to install terminal-based applications via uh, Homebrew. Didn't even have to leave the terminal or go to a website or anything like that. And there are more complicated ways of installing things through Homebrew, but 99% of the time, this is the way you're gonna do it. Now let's move on to normal macOS applications like Firefox, for example. First, we'll do it the old way. I'll speed it up. All right, it's installed. Let's never install this way again. So in Homebrew, GUI-based applications or normal Mac applications are called casks. So to list all of those applications, you type brew cask list. Now let's search for Firefox and install it the right way. I'll go with uh, Firefox beta. So brew cask install and package name Firefox beta. Wait a second. All right, done. So it's installed, it's in my applications folder. It's also in my cask list, as you can see here. And this is so much better than the old way of installing things. So you should always do it this way instead of the old way. Uh, I don't use Firefox, so let's uninstall it. Brew uninstall Firefox beta, and Firefox is uninstalled completely. So the best thing about installing everything through Homebrew is that you can keep everything up to date with a single command. Just run brew update to update homebrew itself and brew upgrade to update every cask and terminal based application you have installed through homebrew. So I just add these two commands to the end of a update script that I wrote. We can take a look real quick. Uh, just update some NeoVim plugins, uh, Ruby stuff, all my GitHub repos, ZSH stuff. And down here I got my update and upgrade. So I just set up an alias called update all. It'll uh, trigger this script and update everything I care about on my Mac. I usually run it once a day. You could also set up like a cron job or some automatic way of triggering this each day. So that's basically how I use homebrew. I'll leave a homebrew cheat sheet in the video description along with this uh, script you see running if you wanna take a look at it. You can also head over to homebrew's main page, scroll down to analytics data and you can view the most popular packages being installed. Uh, the next video will be over one of these applications. I haven't decided which one yet, but look forward to that. And uh, if you made it this far, check out this video, super catchy. Uh, check out this album if you want to feel angry. And have a great day. Peace.